You are a light designed to shine so brightly that you can't be hidden. Not just any light, but a light meant to cut through darkness, to stand out, and to make a real difference. In Matthew 5, verses 14 to 16, Jesus speaks directly to this powerful idea. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. Now let's break this down, because there's more power in these words than most people ever realize. What if you started seeing yourself as this light? Not just a person going through the motions, but a light that makes things around it better, clearer, and safer. Let's explore. How can these words change the way we live today? How can they shift how we approach our relationships, our work, our struggles, and our purpose? We're often told, just be yourself. But this passage from Matthew asks us to go even further. It says, be your brightest self, shine your unique light, even if no one else around you is doing the same. That's the power here. In the Bible, there's a small story about a woman named Abigail. Most people don't know her story, but it's remarkable. Abigail was married to Nabal, a harsh, foolish man who had offended David, the future king. As a result, David was furious and ready to attack Nabal's household. But Abigail, knowing what was at stake, stepped in with incredible courage. She brought food and supplies to David's men, apologized, and ultimately saved her family from destruction. Abigail could have stayed silent, hidden in the background. She could have thought, I'm just one person. I can't change this situation. But Abigail shone her light. She stepped into her role as a peacemaker, and that act saved lives. How often do we hide our talents, our opinions, or even our kindness because we're worried about what others might think. Abigail didn't wait for anyone's approval. She just acted. And that's our first takeaway. Don't dim your light to fit in. You have gifts, ideas, and perspectives that are valuable, no matter what anyone else says. Let's start being bold with them. Let's get practical. How can you live out this idea of being the light in a way that makes a real difference. 1. Embrace your uniqueness. Think about this. There's no one else exactly like you in the world. Not a single person. And that makes you powerful. One practical way to start shining your light is to share more of what makes you, you. Let's say you have a unique talent for solving problems or a passion for helping others. Use it. Get involved in community projects or volunteer your skills. The point is to put yourself out there because, as the verse says, a city on a hill cannot be hidden. 2. Focus on adding value. Wherever you are, at work, in school, or even at home, ask yourself, how can I add value to the people around me? It could be something small like showing kindness to a stranger mentoring a co-worker, or even starting a passion project that others can enjoy. In today's world, where so much is focused on getting ahead, it's easy to forget the simple power of giving. But the more you add value, the more your light will shine. People are drawn to those who uplift others. 3. Stay consistent, even when it's hard. Sometimes being a light means staying true to who you are, even in the face of criticism. The Bible story of Stephen teaches a powerful lesson. He was one of the early Christians who boldly shared his faith, even though it led to harsh judgment and ultimately death. Now, we're not likely to face anything that extreme, but the lesson here is this. Even when it's hard, stay true to your purpose. Don't let negativity, doubt, or fear, dim your light. Consistency in your values is what will make you shine even brighter over time.
If you're finding this helpful, hit that subscribe button. We're here every week with powerful insights, new perspectives, and ways to help you step into your best self. Shining your light isn't just for you, it's also for the people around you. Jesus says in verse 16, Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Imagine a teacher who goes beyond the regular curriculum to truly connect with each student, inspiring them to believe in themselves. Or think of a neighbor who organizes events to bring people together. Small actions like these are ways of letting your light impact others. Ask yourself this week, how can I serve others with my light? It doesn't have to be dramatic. Sometimes, the simplest gestures, listening, sharing a word of encouragement, or offering a helping hand can make the biggest difference. One of the biggest obstacles to shining your light is fear. Fear of judgment, fear of failure, or fear of standing out too much. But remember, Jesus didn't say, be the light only when it's convenient. He simply said, you are the light. In today's world, fear of judgment can keep us from pursuing what matters. But here's a truth bomb. People's opinions don't define your worth. Their criticism or lack of support doesn't dim your light. Think of Daniel in the Bible. He openly prayed to God despite being in a foreign land where it was illegal, and his courage led to him being thrown into a den of lions. But Daniel's light shone brighter because he stayed true to who he was. Your purpose, your light, it's stronger than any fear. Take small steps to push through those fears. Start sharing your ideas at work, speak up in meetings, or reach out to that person who might need your encouragement. You don't have to be loud or dramatic. Just be consistent. Your light will reach others, sometimes in ways you might not even see. You might think, I'm just one person. But remember, even a small light can pierce the darkest night. The world needs your unique light, just as it needed Abigail's courage, Stephen's conviction, and Daniel's faith. So today, ask yourself, what's one way I can shine my light brighter? Make a commitment this week, whether it's through kindness, courage, creativity, or generosity, let that light shine. Remember, the power is already within you. You just have to turn it on and let it shine. If this message moved you, if it inspired even a spark of hope or courage, hit that subscribe button. We're here to help you step into the fullness of who you're meant to be every single week.